Welcome back to this new tutorial. My name is Bruno Flamen. I've just released an article about, um, well, I'm still exploring first of all, um, how to build up an API that uh, will have a different time point that will uh, satisfy different needs. For instance, uh, translation, extraction, NLP task, and so ever. So that's basically um, all these, uh, all the previous article I've written, I was introducing um, Whisper. Uh, this one was how to how to deploy on Azure and so on. So this time I am tackled the, the issue of translation. If you work with different language, you're not only working in English, but you may work with a certain amount of language, and then you will have you will need to translate some stuff, and maybe your API will be able to use intelligence artificial to uh, translate stuff. So I've discovered a uh, non-language left behind from Meta for X Facebook uh, that is available on Hugging Face. And I will, I will in this first video, want to see it, how it integrates through uh, Fast API. We will see also uh, LangDetect, which is a library, a package, that enables you to, to detect the language. But let's dive directly to the code. So basically, you can read my article if you want, and then you can access to the code directly. Uh, basically, this is my GitHub account, and I've put every exploration on the intelligence software right here in this uh, specific tutorial. And you see you have all these uh, post, previous posts, and right here, the eight is the one I'm gonna present. So let's go, so we're gonna go first. So both, I'm gonna use uh, Sublime as a text editor, and also maybe sometimes, well, I will use it anyway, um, Visual Code Basic, Visual Code, sorry, it's not basic. <laughs> anyway, I will need a console right away, this is the blue one, and I've written a walkthrough where you have everything that I'm gonna do right away. So let's go, so you have uh, the description of each directory. You have the tools that I'm using. Basically, I'm gonna manage the environment with Anaconda, but you can use Poetry or you can use Vent, whatever. We're leveraging on Face API, and this is the, uh, this is the library I'm gonna use for translation, okay? So you can install it, whatever. So I've create an environment, so let's see. I've created an environment named EA Translation Facebook NLLB, and I'm gonna load this. I'm gonna load this, uh, this is right here, so I'm here, right here. I'm gonna load all these requirements. So basically, I'm gonna use the same requirement for each directory, so let's, uh, well, I've already created to fasten the process of creating this video. So I'm already uh, activating the, okay. And then I can I can jump to a Visual Basic Editor. Well, I will need to launch this one. I always give the same comment in the Python file. Okay, so if you need to install, you have the command where you can you can define your own name and then it create a Python 9 point, uh, 3.9, 3.9.13 and then you can install with the requirement what is needed. So basically we are right here and we're going to launch the, uh, the fast API. So let's let's have a look to the. Oh. Yeah, you can't find because I'm not in the correct. Uh, I always do this mistake. Uh, this is zero, zero, 001. Yeah, that's this one. Then it's going to work. So if I call back, okay, right away. So let's see if it's correct in my own in my own walkthrough, yes, that's correct. So I'm launching, I'm right here, I've launched, and then I will go to the uh, to the local application that run with FastAPI. Every time I'm putting a health check, I'm using it uh, for testing with PyTest. And this is the language that you have in the uh, natural, uh, no language left behind, NLLB. 
So you can see, for instance, this is the name you want to see. So this is is just loading. Uh, no, it's loading this. Uh, no, sorry, it's loading this one. Uh, I've given a more a more extended where fine definition in Python, both in Python and in text, meaning that you can find the list that came from Flores two hundred. And for instance, if you look for Italian, you will have Italian, you have uh, Japanese, you have Kabyle, you have Georgian, you have a tremendous amount of language, okay? Even Zulu, okay? So what we're gonna do right now, how is it working? So you can check, I mean, manually if you want, or you can download this, or you can cut, cut and paste, but basically it seems to be working. The health checks mean that you just click on it and then it show everything is okay. But in this tutorial, all the most important, the main course, I should say, is the translate. So to help you out, I've given you some, so we're gonna go through the walkthrough. So the first one I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna open example request Italian and translate from Italian to English, okay? What I invite you to do is to use also, it's to use also uh, Google Translate just to be sure. So for instance, you're in English right here. So we'll be in, the, in Italian and we will translate in English. And for sure, uh, I'm gonna take the file. So let's open it. I don't need this anymore. So just, just to give a quick insight of the web server, what it's doing is uh, loading the translate as a class. And also is you have the different endpoint, but I will come back later. Let's, let's use the things first. So let's take the Italian. So, nulla da fare trovare un'impresa interessata a realizzare la nuova stagione Pignetto è impossibile. So let's translate it with Google Translate and see what is uh, what is given us nothing's to be done finding a company interested in building i've i've taken this um, this sentence from a from an article from la repubblica uh, that's an italian newspaper and uh, and it's about it's about the fact that uh, there's no company who is interested in building a pigneto station it's in it's in it's the station in roma so let's do the thing. So let's cut and paste directly into the tryout stuff. So you see, you have defined Italian as a source language and English as a destination or as a target. Hopefully it will work. We will see if uh, basically you have, let me see the walkthrough right here. It's not good. And we will see if this nothing's to be done finding a company that has been translated by Google. So let's take this one. Sorry. Let's take this one and we're gonna see, so I've already made the, um, the translation. So let's see if the output of our API will be the same as the Google Translate. Let me find if he has done the work. Ooh. Apparently taking, I oh know it's okay. It didn't take too much time. Nothing's to do finding a company interested in building the new Pineto station is impossible. For sure, uh, I admit that the, 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 the sentence is very, very simple, but still that's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good starting point. Okay, and let's see for instance, let's take uh, another, another file. Um, I think I wanted to show the Spanish. So let's take the seven, uh, seven. So basically this time I will be in English and that will be the source and I will send the, so let's do it. So I, you see, I'm only focused on usage because I find it very easy to build up the fast API. So we're gonna see a little bit of the code right after. And also it's pretty simple to install and to manage your own environment in Python. So let's have a look to the, to the meanwhile, to the translation. So basically you define, well, by the way, I should admit that I've taken the, all this code. So I didn't write it at all. 
all these code come from this guy. I've just changed few elements inside, but that's basically what I'm doing most of the time. Okay, so this guy has the privilege to share, or as a, how would you say, he was he was enough kind to share his code. So then I will I have taken this code and change a little bit, adapt it to my uh, to my own use. But basically, I'm leveraging, as you see, I'm leveraging on um, that's in the translator. I'm leveraging on this library. You can install different libraries. There's more augmented one. Uh, well, it's up to you. But basically, you load a tokenizer, you leverage on the tokenizer, and then he's doing the stuff, and so on and so on. What was interesting this time, it, uh, it has uh, leverage on a class, which is called right here, okay? Uh, I think it was, uh, I'm not so sure. See, yeah, declare this class, and then create an instance. Okay, that's pretty basic. That's pretty basic. It's a park. It's a park. It's a proof of concept. So how can I leverage on um, fast API on this library to translate? And you see, you have the activity of our API. So let's check the API. Apparently, yeah. So what we're gonna do right now? We are gonna say okay. So this was, and you see, según la fuente política policial, el incidente ocurrió alrededor de las 1 y 15 uh, p.m., which means, which means more in English stuff. Uh, but anyway, um, let's see, let's see what he has done. Up oh, above, I've already translated, so let's do it, let's redo the translation. So he will detect that it is English, but this time I want Spanish. Give me the Spanish. Segunda fuente. Uh, let's compare to it. Yeah. So apparently he has interpreted. Uh, well, that's not bad. He's the correct. That's the correct hours. Except that I don't think he wrote down in Spanish the way like it's a PM, which is a more English way of noting down the hours. But anyway, that's a good proof. That's a good proof that you almost reach the level, the quality level of Google Translate. Okay, um, let's cut it down right here and let's move to the second, uh, to this one and see. Uh, this one, it means that you not always know. Uh, you not always know, so I'm getting to this directory and you see I'm right here in the directory. So what I want to show you is long detect. Uh, for instance, I'm going to say, well, imagine that you're working on a different kind of text and especially if you're working with African language or Asian language that you don't understand at all. I mean, it doesn't mean anything to you. So you don't, you're getting confused, for instance, uh, from if I take the list, uh, let's take this one. You have, uh, for instance, uh, Bambara, or you have Wolof, I think you have Wolof, or you have Kiswahili, or you have any kind, uh, let's say Kiswahili. Yeah, you Tur Turkish. Well, anyway, you in lang uh, language that you don't understand, uh, Zulu, Xhosa, Wolof. You have a lot of African African language, and then you need to ensure that uh, as you don't know the language, you you need to ensure that your API is able to detect the correct uh, the correct um, correct language that is uh, the source is in. So we're gonna leverage on this long detect. This is a package, sorry, this is a package. And then uh, you just have to launch. So for instance, this is obviously English. So he's gonna say, okay, this is English. But for instance, this is Arabic. Uh, well, we can say Arabic, let's say rap. Okay, and see if it can detect and stuff. Okay, it's working. And you have a lot of language uh, inside. We've I made some tests in Spanish, Italian, whatever. But it's what is interesting is that you can grab any kind of source and then you can think about 
not to provide the I mean, providing the detection avoid you to provide or to understand um, at first what is the language. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so that's good enough for this uh, video. I hope you enjoy it. Always remember that I'm not focusing on the on the code, but I'm more focusing on the usage. As far as the code is available, the logic is pretty simple as it is spoke, it is proof of concept, I repeat. And it has to be written, it has to be written, it has to be read, sorry, and not written. It has to be read uh, in the perspective of building an API that should be able to leverage on first API and to have a several, a serial or several endpoints that enable EA features, okay? Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back in a minute for the second video that would be maybe using Gradio, which is a kind of um, kind of a stream. Well, I find it a kind of stream light. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my, if you like my work. Uh, I just show you the YouTube stuff, and um, and be sure all these um, all these video will be available. I've created a special playlist on that. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.